friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead, Golden Acre Homestead. This is Becky here. I was gifted this cast iron pot by my sister. It was her husband's grandparents and it's got the feet on it. It's a traditional cast iron Dutch oven. Sorry, my dog just sneezed. And I'm gonna use this for the first time and I'm gonna cook something on my wood stove for the first time. So I thought it'd be fun if you guys wanted to come along and hang out with me in my kitchen. Well, I tried to cook a pot roast on my wood stove in this 100-year-old cast iron Dutch oven. I've got this cast iron here preheating because I'm going to cook a few slices of bacon. I'm not following a recipe. I typically don't follow recipes. I kind of just go by some cooking techniques that I know and uh, kind of go by the seat of my pants. And because I've never cooked on a wood stove before, this is brand new to me. I'm cooking more bacon than I need. That's usually what I do. I like to cook extra so that I'll have it just in the fridge for later. One of the main reasons I want to cook this bacon is because I want to brown my roast. I've got a chuck roast here. I want to brown my chuck roast in the bacon grease to add the flavor. Really need to sharpen my knives. I got my chuck roast here. I bought this beef from a farmer up north just about 20 minutes in Battleground called Basket Flat Ranch. I can link that farm below. And this is 100% grass fed, grass finished beef. And if you wanna know what that process is like, I'll leave a link for that as well up above. I'm going to go ahead and get some carrots and onions peeled and chopped. I'm going to save the carrot peels, tops, and ends, and I throw those in the freezer and I use those when I make chicken stock. And I do the same thing with the onion skin. I grew and I harvested them back in July and one of my big goals for next year is to oh there's some bad ones in here too so those will go to the compost but one of my big goals for this next year is to grow bigger onions because look how small these are they're about the size a little bit bigger than a maybe a golf ball size but it's kind of a pain to peel them so I think I'm gonna leave these whole in the roast I'm just gonna go ahead and peel them and then throw them in the roast hole. I grew these onions from sets, and what I've been reading is that if you grow them from actually a plant, then they'll grow larger. In my grow room, I have started onions from seed that are growing right now, and then I also ordered some onion plants from Dixondale Onion Farm, and in case my seed ones don't turn out well, and I am gonna see if that grows larger onions than the sets did. And also I've read that onions are heavy, heavy, heavy feeders. So I'm definitely gonna have to fertilize them more this coming year than I did last year. You know what, I might actually leave all those bacon bits in the final product. These are some elephant garlic babies that I found wild on my property this last year. So I thought I was recording, we just had a disaster. 
I burnt the bacon. <laughs> While I was prepping the onions and peppers, um, I burnt the bacon. And I thought it was salvageable, but it's not. Uh, it'll be a nice treat to the chicken that won't go to waste at least. So I am gonna start some more bacon. I'm not a professional. This is my home kitchen. <laughs> we will adapt and overcome. I like to save my bacon grease, so I am gonna just put some of it in this jar. I keep this jar in the refrigerator and I use it when I cook. I'm gonna leave a few tablespoons of grease in the bottom of the cast iron so I can brown my roast in it. I like my bacon really crispy, especially because I'm gonna be cooking this um, with the roast. I don't want it to be soggy at all, but I don't want it to burn like the other stuff. So I'm watching it really closely because we're getting pretty close to it being done here. there's all this beautiful brown bits on the bottom of this pan and I don't want those to go to waste so I am gonna deglaze it with a little bit of red wine I did turn the heat the heat down just a little bit you want to be careful with this deglazed pan here with the red wine and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a sauce to put into here I've got Worcestershire sauce I buy this in a gallon container I love it with red meat so I'm gonna go ahead and put maybe a quarter cup half cup in there a couple good squirts of I've got stone ground mustard one two three and then I had some pizza sauce. I made some calzones that didn't get eaten. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to here so it doesn't go to waste. I don't usually add tomatoes to my roast, but I thought it would add a little bit of richness and there's definitely some herbs in there that can add some good flavor as well. Over here, I've got my veg. I am gonna go ahead and stick a couple of these onions underneath this pot roast. I probably should have done that before I put the meat in here. I'm gonna go ahead and go in there with my hands. This is my kitchen, so it's okay. I'm gonna just set them on the very bottom, like so, and set that right on top. And then I'll just tuck these in around it. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my carrots in. Maybe throw a couple of these at the bottom too. I'm gonna break some of the bacon and cook it in it with it now, and then I think I'm gonna put some on top at the end. Put my garlic. All right, my hands are washed, and then I'm gonna add some mushrooms. These are dried mushrooms. I do that sometimes when I have mushrooms that are about to go bad. I'll just throw them in the dehydrator. Tuck those in. And then let's get this sauce just poured over top. I'm gonna finish it with some homegrown parsley. And some fresh thyme from the garden. This cast iron didn't come with the lid, but I figured my Le Creuset pot lid would work just fine for it.
So I'm a little worried that it's starting to dry out. It's hard to see in this photo. There's not that much liquid left. So I am, oh, the meat is really tender though. Almost fork tender, but not quite braised enough. And I'm a little worried that there's not quite enough liquid in there. So I just opened a can of home canned chicken broth. This was the first time I've tried canning chicken broth. And I'm gonna pour maybe that much in there. I was really nervous to use this for the first time, thinking that I might kill my family, but it worked out just fine. I've used it a few times. So I'm gonna let that kind of sit in there and keep cooking. Yeah, that meat is not quite tender enough. The bone is starting to fall off here, but this centerpiece isn't quite enough. So I wanna make sure there's enough liquid in there to let this cook the rest of the way down. I think it is officially done, so let's go get it. So I put this on around one o'clock, I believe, and it is now 6.30. Let's take a look. Normally I'd probably make like a thick gravy out of my roast, but this sauce is already pretty thick, so I don't think it needs it. I think I'm just, I think I'm just gonna use it the way it is. Um, but by using this fat separator, I'm gonna be able to pour this over my dinner and not have to worry about getting the greasy bits on the top in my food. If you guys don't have one of these, I'll link one below. They're amazing. It's a, I had some leftover mashed potatoes from Christmas that I put in a freezer bag and threw in the freezer. And I went ahead and just heated those up in the oven. So I've got mashed potatoes here. So I'm gonna serve this roast over some mashed potatoes. We had a winter storm today. We had about six inches of snow, which is a lot for us. And so my husband, he shoveled our driveway, which is pretty long. And so he is pretty hungry. So I am gonna get him some dinner. This is just pull apart tender. So I'm gonna put a little bit of meat there. My dog is whining, I'm sorry. A couple roast carrots. A couple of those onions. And then we'll drizzle over a little bit of that sauce. And bon appetit, there's dinner. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me today while I use the wood stove for the first time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have tips or tricks for me, leave them down in the comments. And if you wanna hang out with me and see what else I have going on, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great night and we'll see you next time. Bye. You guys, this is the best roast I have ever had. So good.